Hello and welcome to 3DS Max 2011. In this video, we're going to take a look at some of the user interface enhancements and some of the workflow improvements we've made to this version of the software. So let's maximize the viewport. And while we're talking about screen real estate, something new to 3DS Max 2011 is the ability to minimize the command panel and turn it into a flyout menu. All we have to do to do that is to go into the command panel settings and choose minimize and the command panel becomes a flyout menu. This gives you the ability to maximize as much of your workspace as possible while still giving you access to the tools that you use the most. Another major improvement to the UI is the introduction of what we call the caddies. So I can go ahead and I'm going to go into polygon mode, select this polygon, right click and I can invoke the advanced settings dialog boxes. But instead of getting the dialog box, we get the new user interface element called the caddy. The caddy stays with us wherever we arc rotate our scene around or if we pan. If we pan our scene around, it stays with us. We can position it anywhere in the scene that we want to and it stays with us. It gives us all the same information that we had before with the advanced settings dialog boxes. It's just now embedded directly within the viewport. Another subtle but important enhancement to the UI occurs in the snaps command. I'm going to go into vertex mode. I've turned on my snaps, and if you see here, I have vertex snaps on. We've given you a couple of extra cues uh, to work with when you're working with snaps. If you notice when I select the vertex, right in the center of the transform gizmo, a circle now appears. This gives me the uh, ability to select directly to the center of the transform gizmo so that I know exactly where I'm selecting. Additionally, you'll notice that the cursor is now yellow and when I drag the vertex, uh, in this case to this cursor, it's yellow until I snap onto a vertex, again giving me kind of clear indication of what's going on with the snaps and how I'm using them. Something else that's new in 3ds Max 2011 is the fact that we've updated the selection logic of polygons in the sub-object mode. Normally you used to be able to use control to both select and deselect, now you can only use control to select. If you want to deselect, just click the Alt key and click on the polygons you want to deselect. Another thing that we've added is the ability to quickly select rings and loops in subobject mode, merely by selecting the, the first subobject element, in this case a polygon, and then holding down the Shift key and selecting the adjacent one, and it automatically selects, in this case, a loop. If we want a ring, we just select one polygon here, hold down the Shift key, select the adjacent polygon, and it automatically selects the rest of that ring. This works for all subobject modes. And now one of the most requested features in 3ds Max, the ability to save as a previous version of the software. You now have the ability to save back to 3ds Max 2010 directly from 3ds Max 2011 and keep all of your data. This now gives you the ability to take advantage of all the great new features in 3ds Max 2011 without breaking your production pipelines that have been built around 3ds Max 2010. The UI enhancements in 3ds Max 2011 allow artists to really focus on workflows and efficiencies rather than focus on what the application is doing. 